Here's how to edit text on your WordPress website using Elementor. You might want to do this in case you have to change any text on your website, maybe the information has changed, or if you have cloned a page that you'd like to repurpose for something else, for example, turning a corporate events page into a birthday parties page. So let's take a look. In order to do this, you will need a WordPress account. If you would like one, please reach out to us, info at booklive.com, and we'll give you one for free with your BookLive subscription. And you'll need to log into your WordPress account, going to your website.com slash wp-admin. From the dashboard, you'll want to navigate to pages and click on pages or all pages. And then you'll want to figure out which page would you like to edit the text for. I'm going to edit the text of my corporate event entertainment page, so you hover over that and then you click edit with Elementor. Once you click edit with Elementor, the Elementor page builder will load. It takes maybe up to 30 seconds or so. And once it loads, you will see a preview of your website on the right and the editor on the left. And so if we want to edit any of the text, all we have to do is click on the text that you would like to edit. When you click on that text, the text actually becomes editable right here. So for example, if I wanted to turn this corporate event page into a birthday party, I would just click on the words corporate event and then highlight them and change it to corporate event or uh, birthday party. So note that you can do that here. You also can do it on the left in this little heading section. So if I wanted to change birthday party back into corporate event, I'm now editing it in the left editor and it is still working. You can also, you know, style the text. For example, if we wanted to style this text, we could go to the style tab here on the left and you're able to change alignment, text color, you could change that to a nice red could even change the typography, meaning what fonts, the size, how bold it is, etc. And you can add other effects such as a stroke, shadow, and even the color blend of the text. I typically don't mess with much of this, I just keep it as the default, and that tends to work out just fine. So you could do that for any text that's on the page. So now I'm changing this, uh, this subheading. And again, same editor, the cursor just shows that we can now type, or you can type in the left editor too. Um, if you're editing the text of a button, you will need to click this little pencil icon in the pink box and edit the text here in the left editor because a button functions just slightly differently than a standard text box. But that is how to edit the text of your website.